What's up guys, it's FSU2019 here, and today, I'm back with another daylight video. It's been forever, I've, I've kind of, uh, kind of slacked on my recording and my uploading and stuff, because I've been super busy the past couple weeks, but, nevertheless, today I'm going to play some daylight, and we're going to pick up for where we left off, which I had, th I think we had just gotten the teddy bear. We had just turned into teddy bear. So, let's go in. I think we had just turned into teddy bear. So, yeah. Oh, I gotta go through all this load. Oh, crap. That's the wrong one. Alright. Sorry, guys. I gotta go through all this load and stuff. He's gotta load up so he'll know where to go. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> It's been a while since I've uploaded one of these, and I've been meaning to. So, let's do it tonight. It's a nice Friday night. Everything's going good. So, yeah. It's almost done, guys. I know y'all can't see it on the screen, but it's, it's loading. It's at 72%. And it looks like it's stuck at 72%. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look 75. 76. Come on, don't go by ones, please. I'm ready to play. Thank you. Oh, come on. It stopped at 96. Okay. I think we're in now, guys. Well, alright, yeah, I had just gotten the teddy bear, I just turned it in, I'm gonna pop glow stick, and we're gonna search, we're in a new section now, so there's gonna be new remnants, I turn, oh uh, yeah, I think that's what it says, I don't think what that means, no, it means attention. Don't ask me. All employees last night at approximately 7 p.m. The power went off. Due to this section of the facility, it to uh, power went off to this section of the facility due to the unfortunate timing. We are we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. Oh, wait. Yeah. To avoid this type of tragedy, in the future, the hospital has decided that non mentioned staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must, you must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the record room stack management. Okay, I don't understand why that was so hard for me to read, but it was. What is this? Doesn't seem to be working yet. Guess I gotta find like a knob, a knob, a uh, little fucking doorknob or something. Alright. Oh, I don't want to read this. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I think I have gotten this far before. Dang it, I thought I unlocked a new spot. Crap, I have gotten this far before. Man, I don't ever remember the teddy bear. Oh, I see uh, that. I saw that. I saw that. Alright. Hang on. Hang on real fast. I'm gonna turn on my speakers. I mean, cause I can barely hear. My speakers on on. So you might get a little oomph in the sound. But I'm turning them on because I can't hear much. So if that leave a like on the video if you heard the oomph. Or just leave a like on the video in general. Alright. The date. May 1st, 1940, concerning Mrs. Daniels' suicide. Mrs. Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating that she was extremely happy, 
unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Ms. Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily familiar to other instances. Alright. Oh yeah, now it's a little more creepy on my part. Because I can hear footsteps and stuff now. Okay. Man, why am I going through reading all these? Do y'all really want to read these, see me read these? Oh well. Mid Island Hospital was one of the most logically influential and medically profound places in our city's history. Yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary help to keep our citizens safe. All right. I really don't want to sprint. Man, I really, <laughs> Kepler citizens accused crime. 16 year old girl allowed to love admit guilt is commit to hang evil. Ops with that open to deal with spread of disease. Okay. Somebody wanted to cut that short. I see another one over there. I gotta get all these because these remnants, if you look down in the bottom right, the uh. Remnants. Oh wait, I can't get to. Oh crap, that's a glow stick. That glow stick's gone. Oh, that makes it a lot more creepier now. Where in the world am I supposed to go? I'm not supposed to keep going down this way. Yes, it was. I'm popping another glow stick. All right, here we go. Oh god. Stop! Stop! Oh, that can. Okay, that that left some chills in my spine. Hi, person. I like you. Okay. Oh, bye. That sent a chill down my spine. That really did. All right. Concerning patient 90D. Ha! While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moritary. What kind of name is? that notice patient 90 G standing in his room in an agitated state the nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass she screamed for help and by the time we arrived the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary where the attend the attending physician reported he would likely lose both eyes patient did not seem bothered by this Recommend a transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Alright. Why can't I get a remnant that I need? And then there is hospitals. There is. And then there is the hospital as it stands today. Abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its anonymous bird population, the hospital, and the island it sits on now more synonymous with rumors about curses and hauntings. There was hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the. Aw, oh, man! I didn't push a button. That did that by itself. Oh, look, I got a trophy. Cool. What the world is this? Huh? You want my phone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get jump scared, so I'm gonna keep moving. I didn't get to read it all. That sucks. I didn't. I never. I never, I've always gone through them fast enough, oh that red light scared the shit out of me, but I've always gone through them fast enough to where I was able to read it all. Another one. Physicaric Ward Report. 
This is still about 90D. What is wrong with this guy? Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refers us to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap except towards Petrish. She is always special now. Ooh, we got a haunted love story. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas open this thing. Okay, so now I'm able to move this. Correct? Move it backwards, right? Or forwards? Yeah, I think it's over forwards. Let go. Yes, I was right. Bro, it takes this dude forever to glide. I I guess I jump down now. Does being out of the dark make you feel better? Well, it shouldn't. I I okay. There's more boxes. Going to climb this on bitch. I miss some bitch. I saw something up there. What is that? Hmm. We're mainly, mainly just investigating. I never went up this way. I always just ditched right to that door down there by the bottom. Because now I know where I am now. And I never came back this way. Okay. What's down here? Oh, that's the beginning room. I don't want to go back down there. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I thought there was a door down here. There, I saw it. I saw something. What's over here? Where am I? I always ditched to the door. I never gone up there, but I'd always ditched to the door. That's my way out. Okay, maybe I have gone up here. I don't remember. It was, it's been forever. Okay, object, climb. I guess I have to go back through there? I thought I had never gone up there before, but apparently I have to go up there before to... I've had to get up there before because that's all my way out. And I've gotten past this part, I remember. I just had never remembered getting the teddy bear into the right spot. So, that was always fun. But... Yeah, because now I gotta go through one of them doors. I don't remember which one I go through, the left or the right, but I gotta go through one of them. More glow sticks. I'm gonna fill up on those. Alright. Can I use this now? That's where I go. Are y'all ready for this? Wait, am I? No, I'm not able to save. I was about to say. If I can, if I can save, I would save right here. Because think, ah, uh, let me out of this, why don't you? Okay. So I remember, this is around this part where I stopped. Shit. I remember it was around this area that I stopped because I needed a flare and I didn't have a flare and I, I, I was I mean once I get to this part there's no flares in here from what I've seen yeah see it saves content right here I think I'll walk around this corner and I need a pop of flare okay I'm watching my threat down in the bottom right corner I feel like just pop a glow stick at the moment. Just to get me through it, just in case I'm messing stuff. Because this helps me find clues and stuff if you watch the last episode. What is this? Okay. And your blood is thicker than water. 
Okay, so apparently this is where they hosted people where they died. Where they were about to die. Wait, am I really just back in this area? You for real. Now we're hitting the freaky shit. I think I need, I know around this area, somewhere around here, I need a flare. Cause I remember getting to that part. Hi. Do you want to be friends? Nothing. I saw that light too. Fuck you, dumbass glow stick. Why you do that? Anybody there? Why the fuck would you yell that out, dumb bitch? Alright, so there's nothing down that one. I just came from that one. So I gotta go this way, the creepy way. The way with three, with two other fucking rooms to go down. YOLO! Okay. Oh my god, what was that sound? Bro, what is this? More of these damn rooms. You for real. I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared the shit out of. Oh, that that little flash. Can't get in that one. Alright, so nothing down in these rooms. Alright. I am a little creeped out at the moment. Oh, this shit's dark. I'm running out of glow sticks. That was super dark. Where am I? I found a flare. Kinda wish you would've gave me glow sticks. I use more glow sticks than I do flares. The whole idea is to get out of the hospital. There's four parts to it. The first part is the hospital. History of New Kipling. The citizens of New Kipling begun performing spirit cleansings rituals on the nearby Mid Island in order to keep their town pure from the dark time. Little factual evidence has been discovered about the natural nature of these rituals. But after the cleansing took place, New Kipling announced that the city had been reborn. I think I just want to keep going. What was that? I don't know. That light just turned on for no apparent reason. Another minute. Oh shit. 
patient. Okay, this one's 27C. Patient is physically healthy but deodorant mentally. He remains in his straight jacket under constant observation. Observation. Patient continually yells at the maze as never ending screams. Continued throughout all hours of the day and night, ranging from low, known tone, monotone chants to fevered, high pitch howls. Electric shock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. Oh shit. Let that happen. Give me a fucking. Oh, it's empty, damn it. A threat's getting. You see how my circles went up? That threat means there's a threat. Alright. Patient 279. Patient reported seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. Staff has been advised to indulge patient in his delusions in order to avoid aggressive behavior observed in patient 15. Patient remains in his room under mild observation. I like how the music picked up also. Like, that got a little creepy. What was that? Let's see, 16. Stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in a quarantine. The doctor re recommends inseration as it has come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us has the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though. I guess Ms. Goodman isn't the only one in, in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Okay, so I basically made full, full circle, huh? Right? So what's with this? Is this gonna open? God, please. <gasps> oh hi. Are we friends? Flare. That's what the flares are for. Okay, so that basically sums her in. Correct? So what is this? I want to figure out what this does. Because I am seriously... I, I seriously want to know what that does. Come at me, bitch. You wet. I got a flare. Are you wet? Bitch! Bitch! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so this is where... That door's shut. Oh shit. I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, that's dead end. Okay. Alright. What the fuck is that? I am not in a good spot. Alright, it's going calmer. Okay, what the fuck was that? That's probably my own footsteps, but it, it started me a little bit. I'm super, super fucking curious though on what the fuck that thing down there does. I really want to know. Round old fucking ball sticks. History of New Kipling. The Puritan Church of New Kipling pronounced that a dark time has engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear of their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town elders and stated mandatory church intended laws. Okay. I'm thinking this is a... No, it's not a dead end. Oh, shit. Another one right behind it. What the fuck? 
Where the fuck would that be there? Now this, I think, this is it. No, it's not. This is fucking more bathrooms. What the fuck? What the fuck? What was that? What was that? I know I'm not the only one that... There's another one on this side of this fucking wall! What's this? Is there another teddy bear somewhere? Wait! Okay, so what about that lock? What does that do? What's that lock? Oh god. Running out of flares, bro. I'm in a rough, rough spot, dude. Where's this lock at? Need the key. Need the key. What key? What is the key? What in the world is the key? Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to have, I, I don't know, dude. It's like, it says there's a key, and there's that lock on that, on that, uh, on my phone, on my map. I, and I'm, and I'm lost. It says there's a key. I've done found the rooms again, so unless it's another bear or something like that, I, I, I I'm not sure. But I think I've I think that's a good episode for now. So, but yeah, if if y'all if I I don't know. I mean, if y'all happen to figure, if y'all happen to know, tell me in the comments because I'm I'm lost. It's like I'm not sure on what I need to do. But I am in a very I'll tell you this much. I'm in a very active area of this hospital. So I think since. My threat is getting up, and I'm having to blow through my flares. I think I'm close. I think, I think that's my way out of there. I think that door with that lock, with that little area, I think that's my way out. But I'm not so sure. But, if that is the case, it's going to be in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Tell me what other games you want to see me play. Any info that you have, put it down in the comments. I'll make sure to read those. Share this video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time. Don't let that cow kill you. Bye-bye.